We're the Indie Project, B and Theo, and we've been living and travelling the world in vans for the past six years. We're currently renovating an abandoned stone barn in Portugal to turn into a beautiful tiny home for us and our cats, Gingy Bear and Fernando. Follow our journey from the very beginning as we document the whole process of creating an off-grid home. Good morning guys, welcome back to a brand new video here from a rather chilly Iceland. It's very different temperature to the 20 degrees that we left behind in Portugal, but it's already so beautiful. I cannot wait to see what this trip has to offer. I'm just wandering the streets and as you can see, there's snow everywhere and the sun is just rising in the horizon. It's about 10 a.m. and B is back at the hotel just booking in a trip to some thermal pools. So a lot of you guys might already know but a while ago we announced an epic Icelandic adventure in partnership with Trover Trip where you guys can travel with us. So this evening we get to meet up with our subscribers who are booked on to this trip to travel with us around Iceland and see the many beautiful sights this place has to offer. And me and B are incredibly excited to meet you all this evening and then get this trip started. <laughs> arrived at Sky Lagoon in Reykjavik. It's freezing cold but what do you expect we're in Iceland and it's a stunning day. Theo just slipped <laughs> on the ice but I'm ready to go and chill out in a thermal pool. Oh I just can't wait. So you guys finally get to see me without a hat. <laughs> but it's well worth it for this place. It's absolutely stunning. We're just going to explore all around the different pools because there's so many different areas. And then we actually signed up for the, I think it's called the ritual, isn't it? Yeah. Where there's like, I think seven different steps. So we're going to go and do that after we've been in the pool, like a cold plunge, body scrub, sauna, Proper all these different day. things. So. We're gonna pamper ourselves a little bit, but just look at this. I can't see a thing, my glasses just keep going all steamy. This is amazing though. This pool is the perfect temperature and as you can see, B's pretty relaxed already. It just looks amazing with the sun backlighting, all of the warm steam from the thermals. And if you look out over here, you can see the snow. It's like a big infinity pool into the sea with snow-capped mountains. And then in the distance over there, you've got this amazing waterfall. So cool. Cheers. <laughs> Enjoy your wonderful Prosecco. Gosh, this is amazing. Honestly, if you ever come to Iceland, definitely recommend Sky Lagoon. Leo is going off to do the cold plunge, which is step two of the ritual. Well, we think that this over here is the cold plunge. So this should be interesting. I'm just finishing my Prosecco. Off he goes. Oh, he's braver than me. I don't think that's cold. Is it cold? Is it cold? You're lying. Training in the cold Portuguese lake. <gasps> I've worked out for the best because 
This actually feels so nice. You're crazy. And unlike Portugal, I get to go back into some warm water instead of into a warm car, which is a lot nicer, but yeah, this is lovely. You're crazy. You're crazy. Honey. <laughs> Ten I've been in here for three minutes. You're crazy. Oh. So we have just driven about an hour from Reykjavik and this is like officially day one. We had a lovely dinner last night with everybody. Everybody's really nice and we have an action-packed itinerary. And first off, we're actually at some tectonic plates. So one side is actually America and the other side, you're in Europe. It's a pretty crazy place, to be honest. beautiful here the sun is just coming up so it's really pink and golden and it, against the snow it's really nice and I'm really struggling to actually like speak properly because I've just taken this off because it's very good at keeping your face warm and I can feel the moisture freezing on my face <laughs> We've just crossed this bridge and as we looked over, something I've never seen in my life is a river running underneath the snow. So there's a layer of ice and some bits the river's popped out, which is pretty cool. Let me show you. And then it just disappears. What do you think? So cool, isn't it? <laughs> So this is our mode of transport for the next week and we have an excellent tour guide, Laris, and you can see just everywhere you look is the most stunning and beautiful views. Hello, I'm Future B and as you can tell I'm back in Portugal in our barn, no longer in Iceland and I'm writing up blog posts about every single day that we were in that beautiful country and I'd like to say a huge thank you to Squarespace who have kindly sponsored this video and who we have our website with where I'm posting these blog posts that you can read. So if you want to know more about Squarespace, I'm about to tell you. Squarespace is a fantastic online platform where you can build and design your very own professional looking websites with absolutely no web design experience whatsoever. They have a host of different themes to choose from that you can customize completely to you and add different features in there for whatever you want on your website. If it's like me and you've got a blog, perfect you can also have a shop on there host a podcast if you've got a restaurant you can even have your menu on there and booking information so if you want to try out squarespace click the link in our description or head to squarespace.com forward slash indie projects and you can get a two-week free trial and 10 percent off your first purchase of a website or a domain. Trust me, it's such a great website to use. And when I use it on my iPad, I'm using one of their apps. So they've got loads of different features that you can use to make it work for you. We've just come to a, ge oh, a geothermal area and I nearly went face first into the snow. Uh, so yeah, that's very active. <laughs> Look at this. Geothermal. It doesn't actually smell like, you know, you imagine it does with sulf all the sulphur and everything. So that's quite nice. And there's a huge lake ahead, actually. This is something that uh, they put down. This contains a dough and it sits there for about 24 hours. Wow. And then they get a, a delicious geyser bread from this. So under this mound here, they're actually baking bread. They put it in a pot and they put soil over it and it takes 24 hours and you end up with a nice loaf of bread at the end, which is pretty amazing. <laughs>
So we've just got off the bus to a geezer. Can't geezer. smell it yet. Can't smell the geezer. All right, geezer. Uh, hopefully, won't be a smelly geezer, but we'll see. Have you it. farted? No, I haven't. It er I think it <laughs> erupts every five minutes. He said, so we should definitely be seeing an eruption shortly. <laughs> Awesome waterfall. This is the last excursion of the day, but you can see it in the distance and it's absolutely beautiful. in Skogar Foss, one of the most, I've got to say, well-known waterfalls in Iceland. When you see it, you'll be like, ah, oh, yes, I recognise that because this is a very stunning waterfall, one you can actually go behind in the summer months. Right now, you can't because there's huge icicles. And when I say huge, I mean huge. If they fall, they will kill you. So you can only appreciate it from the front. But I mean, that is totally good enough for me. So today there's actually a yellow warning for wind. It's absolutely crazy out on the roads. There's snow being blown everywhere. The roads are just full of ice and you can feel the van just swaying from lane to lane. It is pretty mental, but our driver's doing an amazing job. And now we're at this waterfall, which is absolutely incredible. So we have been held up in the hotel all day because the weather has been really bad. We've still got weather warnings, but it looks like it's cleaning up. And we are now standing in a car park that basically represents an ice rink. It's so icy, but we're just about to jump in this massive truck behind me where we're going to visit an ice cave. So you can see our group just here and the truck behind them. It's absolutely massive and it reminds me of Jed's truck from Camper Van Culture. It's pretty much really similar and he's turned his into a camper van. This would make a very good camper van for sure. As you can see, it's definitely slippy. You need your crampons on. <laughs> So we've just stopped for a second. The driver's got out because I think we're kind of stuck a little bit, but we'll soon find out. I think it's going to be all right. Trying to see what's going on, but it's not looking great. <laughs> So good news, we made it out of that situation and we are 
back on the road if it is a road I'm not sure really what we're driving on it looks like icebergs at the moment so we successfully made it to our location our guide over here is just getting ready and then we have the group and there's some amazing vehicles parked in this area at the head of the trail to the ice cave a very beautiful location I was walking here this morning in rain and now Laurens, I think, is joking. It will be sun when we get back. <laughs> Good timing. Oh, okay. yeah, there is sun it's over there. there. Oh, look, there's some oh. sun. <laughs> he just said the glacier where we're walking right now was here about 15 years ago, I suppose, and it's retreated this much since then. Ice being formed down here. This is only melting, so it's like glacier wo works, you know. So always snowing up on the main glacier up to 15 meters a year turns into like two centimeters of ice. Gets compressed together year after year. Almost all the air goes out, turns into ice. So it's very clear. And here it's quite stable, only retreating. But in the middle, there is a stream of ice into the lagoon. So it's still snowing a lot, you know, but too warm. Yeah. And they are, all Icelandic glaciers are like this, zero degrees inside. So they are sensitive to heat changes. Mm. And we are basically at sea level, so we can go figure. Yeah. And because I know some of you are worried about something. It is natural waves, warming, cooling periods, but now it's happening faster than before. Never happened so fast. And so at the settlement, they say the glacier was smaller than it is now. And then cooling period, 1200 to 1900, called the small ice age, little ice age, felt all over the Northern Hemisphere. So then this glacier grew from being smaller than it is now to almost all, almost reaching the ocean. Wow. And the lagoon only started 90, in the 30s, 1930-something, started to form. It was quite small for decades, has more than tripled in size since the 70s, always getting bigger and bigger. So our guide got the weather bang on. It's really nice and clear. The visibility is great. It's not even snowing. Before we got here on the way from the hotel, it was raining so hard, but he assured us it would be fine. And it is, it's absolutely stunning. And we're nearly at the ice cave. Helmet on, ready to go into the cave. This is the entrance. Looks a bit imposing. Looks very dark actually. The, the black is from volcanic ash. And actually, I know Theo will get loads of beautiful cutaways showing how clear the ice actually is. It's weird, it's like looking for a see through stone. Best description I can think of. Heading into the darkness. Oh wow. This is insane. <laughs> How amazing is this? The colour coming through the eyes is Stunning. I'm just looking at the screen to see whether you can actually see me because it is surprisingly dark in here and there's a gorgeous rushing river just behind me. It's truly magical.
we have just come out the other side of the ice cave and I recommend it to anyone if you come to Iceland definitely come and visit an ice cave because that was a proper magical experience it, the photos and the videos they look nice but it just doesn't do it justice you have to see it for yourself with your own eyes Okay. We have our sickness bags. So it's currently the next morning after the ice cave tour, and the light is absolutely incredible this morning. It's so soft. There's so many colors going on and it looks like the weather today is just gonna be perfect for exploring the Diamond Beach and the Glacier Lagoon. And that is where we are right now. So welcome to Diamond Beach. I've never seen anything like this in my entire life. It's pretty mad. All of these boulders that you can see are actually icebergs. And what makes these icebergs even more spectacular is this is all ice that has come from the glacier over there. So it's not actually from the sea, it's glacial icebergs. And our guide said, <laughs> that we can lick them because they're not salty. So you can see inside them, like the glacier yesterday, all of the uh, residue that's built up in there. So we've got the volcanic ash and stuff, which is just amazing. So every single boulder that you can see isn't stone, it's ice. And then to set it off even more amazingly, we've got black sand. So <laughs> I've got to say, this is just absolutely spectacular. And we've got wonderful weather. We had fresh snowfall last night so the mountains everything is covered in a new layer of fluffy white snow which just sets off the boulders of ice sets off the amazing um, black sand and then you've got the insane powerful ocean just there it's this is just breathtaking place is absolutely crazy and there's a piece of ice here that's actually buried in the sand it's just unbelievable it's stunning isn't it the sand has basically merged onto the ice and frozen and it's black sand again which just adds to the contrast of these crazy ice blocks all along the beach are you gonna lick one now i'm gonna lick one right let's, now let's find let's a decent do. lick one Look at the size of some of these. <laughs> Look at that. Are you ready? It looks, it looks a little bit sandy to me. Well, you'll get some extra minerals with it then. You ready? Yeah. 
<laughs> fresh. <laughs> I'm not sure that's COVID safe in, the, <laughs> in this day and age. How many people have just licked that iceberg? out on my new ice sofa looks so comfortable really comfortable definitely recommend definitely gonna get one of these instead of our new sofa Look at that. <laughs> that's what you call a chaise long next stop after diamond beach is a glacial lagoon which is more icebergs from the glacier we went to but because it's a glacial lagoon the water is an incredible blue and there's icebergs floating in it So we've just moved from Diamond Beach on a path that walks up alongside the river and this is called the Glacier Lagoon behind me and what it is is there's a glacier right at the top and the ice actually breaks off the glacier and travels down this river to the beach. It's an absolutely magical place. So this right here, in between the mountains, you can see the snow covered glacier making its way out into the valley. It's pretty cool to see. It is absolutely huge and the camera as usual just can't do it justice, but all of this is just millennia old ice. Just here, there's a bottleneck of smaller ones trying to get out and go along the river, but they're kind of trapped in by another one just here. So it's really funny. I just spotted some here, slowly flowing around and if it picks it up on the camera, but they're just all backlogged by all the other smaller ones that can't quite escape just yet and go onto the main flow. Although as I've said it, I have just spotted one. It's made a bid for freedom, it's on its way. <laughs> on his way to the ocean. So we are in the pool, which is a thermal pool. This is actually really nice and warm, like bath water. And there's two hot tubs, but there's also snow surrounding this pool. So I'm trying to recruit everyone. And we're gonna do snow angels in the snow and ice. Go on. And then roll, and then back in the hot pool. So it should be nice. Go on. You ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> get, get it's actually so good. Was it good? Did you all enjoy it? Is it high five? You all feel alive. <laughs> this, is, this is by far the best hotel that we've stayed in so far, isn't it? Yeah, the pool makes it. It really does. Right, into the hot tub. See you later. Really? At me. 
Jeans, are you ready? Uh, uh, it was something yeah, outstanding. That's why I was looking at you like. So it is the next morning after hanging out in the hot tub at the hotel and we are in search for more warm water. We are doing a hike which takes about an hour or so I think to get there and up a steep mountain and then the other side you arrive at this beautiful river that's heated by the thermal so I can't wait to go for a swim in this river surrounded by snow in the middle of nowhere. It's gonna be a really cool experience. It was actually hit and miss whether we were gonna be able to do this trail this morning because you can see it's quite challenging. There's been a lot of fresh snow. The roads are being closed and you can see the powder here that we're having to traipse through. But the views are unbelievable and the sun is just coming up. We are now heading into Reykjadalur where we have the warm river where people can take geothermal bath in the wild nature of Iceland. It's an effort to reach there but the reward is worth it. <laughs> So we are now at the highest point of the hike and the snow's got a lot deeper but the conditions really haven't been too bad. We're lucky that people have been before us on the trail so we can see the trail and the snow's a little bit more compacted. There have been a few sketchy parts but just to my left I've spotted a waterfall that is steaming so it means that we can't be that far away from the hot pools in the river and we could strip off and bathe in them. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. This is one of the things I've been looking forward to all trip. Either someone's farted or I can smell the thermal pools in the distance. And I think it's definitely the thermal pools. <laughs> Look at this landscape. A proper winter wonderland. We have just made it to the thermal river. It's so cool. It like twists and bends around the valley and we're just trying to find a place where we're going to go in that's deep enough so we don't freeze because at the moment I think it's about minus six. I've just found a nice spot to strip off and then jump in the warm river. There's so many nice places to hang out with no one around, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do now. I brought the essentials with me, my sandals. It's always good for these type of adventures and I will not be wearing socks with them this time. Who's going in first? Me. We're working on I'll it. I'll halfway yes. there. <laughs> You're ready to go in, you should go in first. <laughs> so I've just stripped off and it looks like I'm going to be the first one to go in. It looks so inviting though, it's steaming. I felt the temperature with my hand and it feels like a bath. There's snow surrounding us, but the question is, do I roll in the snow first? Oh. <laughs> That's lovely. I'm glad you're staying. That's lovely. Like an angel. <laughs> I made it in the river. Seriously, this is such a cool experience. I'm basically lying between two rocks where there's a deeper part and it's kind of like a rapid so it feels like I'm in a jacuzzi and my skin is singing singing <laughs> my skin is stinging after rolling around in the snow but you just gotta do it to acclimatise to the heat of this 
river because I was so cold. You know when you're walking through cold stuff and your skin's red? That was me. So I had to go and sit further down where it was colder and now I'm in the hot bit and oh, I feel so good. And the redness is starting to go. But I've got tiny little icicles on my arm hairs. <laughs> going to make this outro short and sweet because as you can see I'm lying on the sofa and have been for the last five days because both me and B have COVID. We caught it on the way back from Iceland which is unfortunate so we've just been taking it easy and taking a little break. I just want to say a massive thank you to everyone who trusted us to run this epic Iceland adventure. It was everything that we dreamed of and all the activities were absolutely amazing. We had a brilliant guide in Laris and everyone who came on the trip were absolutely beautiful people and we have memories and friends for life. It was incredible. I, I'm lost for words on how cool of an adventure it was and we had all the weather thrown at us we had some beautiful sunny days we had some crazy stormy days we really got to feel the real Iceland we even got a glimpse of the northern lights which was pretty cool too thank you for watching the video I hope you enjoyed it and make sure you tune in for the next one where we continue as normal finishing our beautiful home